guys, Blocks1000 here, and welcome back to some more Kirby's Epic Yarn. In the last episode, Kirby ate a tomato and then a sorcerer got mad at him and sucked him into his sock and then he ended up in this crazy land of yarn. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this game has a pretty creative plotline, no matter how crazy it is. Anyways, so in this episode, we're actually gonna get started on our first world, which is... Uh, Grassland! <laughs> I forgot the name for a second. Stupid. Why am- why did I forget the name? Okay, whatever. Anyway, so this is our first official level. The last level was just a tutorial. But this is where we actually start. The Fountain Gardens. Let's begin! Uh, yep. <laughs> this is gonna be so fun. I can't wait to get started here. Alright, so... Welcome! To... Grassland! <laughs> and this music is awesome! The main theme of this game is really, really nice. Anyway, so let's kill that Waddle Dee, and let's start at this dude. This uh, <laughs> Kirby is not to be messed with when he's been turned into yarn. Uh, now, one thing that's actually cool about this game is that it actually has multi-layers. Like, you can basically go behind stuff and go in front of stuff. You can do all that stuff. <laughs> and um, there's lots and lots of really, really nice things about this game that I just love. So it's really creative. It's like... Uh, I, 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 I don't have words to describe how creative this is. So there is our first item of this level. Uh, each level has three items, in case you haven't guessed uh, by now. And stupid Waddle Dee, I don't care about you. Also something that's kind of uh, good to note in this game is that you don't actually- ca you can't actually die, technically. You can't die, but the point is that you're supposed to keep all your beads, and when you get hit, you'll lose beads, so... Uh, that's why you have to try and not get hit. So, like, you can't really die. And so, it, it, it's an easy game, but the easiness is made up for its awesomeness. <laughs> and, um, also, Kirby turns into a... What is that supposed to be? A, is that a hot air balloon? I can't tell what he's actually turning into there. It looks like a hot air balloon, but it doesn't have a basket at the bottom, so I can't really tell. Uh, let's pull this thing down. And yeah, after a couple seconds, it'll. Oh no, don't! No, I need the big B. I know. I don't. I don't care about this point. Uh, <laughs> now let's go up here. And what's behind this thing? There is. I don't. I still don't really know what those things are supposed to be. Honestly, I mean, I th I always thought that they were supposed to be beads that gave you cool stuff, but I honestly have no idea what those things are. If you guys know what they are, please tell me down below because I really don't know what they do. But I always like getting them. They're still cool to get. Okay, so down this way. This ground feels like pens. <laughs> That's like that that believe it or not, that line has become a meme. If you're not familiar with this game, it's become a meme. Um now let's pull this thing down and let's get some more beads up there. Yeah, oh whoa, whoa, I almost fell off the edge there. Pull that down. Okay, Kirby literally flips around like a ninja in this game. He's he moves around so fast and he's just He's really, really agile in this game, and it's really, really cool to see how how well Kirby controls in this game because of his new abilities. Because uh, if you don't know, he's known for his um, copy abilities, but in this game, it's very, very different because he doesn't have his copy abilities. Instead, he has all these abilities to turn things into yarn and manipulate the earth and all this stuff. It's pretty nice. It's very oh, that thing is terrifying. It's gonna give me nightmares. And it doesn't- it doesn't help that it has that weird swirly mouth, especially. Die, Waddle Dee. <laughs> whoa, whoa, that went higher than I expected. Alright, let's pull this down, and there's another one of those things that I have no idea what it does. Please, 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 if you know what it is, just tell me. I- I really want to know what it is. Okay, so, Fountain Gardens. That's the music that plays there. And- whoa! <laughs> that's- that's fun, actually. Okay, let's climb up here, and... Okay, what well, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you one of the reasons why I love Nintendo. Nintendo has never been about the graphics or anything like that. They've never done what all the other companies do. Like, I mean, I I don't care about graphics at all. I mean, I do sometimes. I mean, sometimes it's nice to have graphics because they're nice little added bonuses. But to me, graphics aren't that important. I know they might be to some people, but honestly, I feel like it's a little bit of a dumb complaint. Uh, but truly, I do believe that, uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn is just a game that's all about the fun. Like, there's never really been anything about it that isn't fun. I just, 
I, it doesn't have to have a good story, it just has to be fun. And I'm gonna leave those Waddledees alone, because they're true romance. And this is our introduction to something new! Transformations! These things are in almost every single level. And what you do is you turn into something giant and blow stuff up! That's not actually what you do in every single one, but still. In this one you turn into a giant robot tank, and you aim rockets at innocent creatures and blow them up. Seriously, Kirby is not to be messed with. Um, I actually remember watching a top 10 list of the top 10 cute video game characters that you don't want to mess with, and I remember Kirby was at number one, uh, which is so true. I mean, like, Kirby is such a, honestly, he's such a badass, but he's so cute at the same time. Oh, whoa. Yeah, see, that's an example of what happens if you get hit. You lose, like, 90% of your beads. So don't get hit, because if you want to get a good rank on a level, you're not going to want to let that happen. <laughs> And these rockets are coming flying at us from all over, that's insane. Oh god, go away, go away, go away, I don't like you, I don't like you, Waddledees! <laughs> oh yeah, we're blowing stuff up now! No, go away, go away, rocket de rocket Waddledees, I don't know what you're actually called, but... Okay, whoa, stop throwing rockets at me, I don't like you. Nobody likes Waddledees, do they? I don't really know. <laughs> I'm not too familiar with the Kirby fan base, honestly. Uh, anyways, here we are at the end of the level. And this music, let's give it one last listen. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna make you sit here for two minutes listening to this music. Let's just end the level. And there we have, we got three stars again. We're getting pretty lucky with these endings. <laughs> Okay, Prince Fluff looks almost exactly the same as Kirby, but at the same time, he- I don't know why, but Prince Fluff always looks angry, in my opinion. There's something about the way that he always has, like, that- that- those eyebrows. They always- they looks like he's so angry. <laughs> but then again, he is technically kind of just a reskin of Kirby in this game. <laughs> he looks almost- his similarities with Kirby are really, really, really similar. <laughs> Now, at the end of the level, you'll get a patch, which is what Kirby is holding right now. When you throw a patch, look at what happens. Okay, it'll unlock a new level, and what it does is it manipulates the world map, and it's so cool, I love it so much. These things get more and more creative with each passing level. I just, I love the way that these levels are unlocked. They're, it's one of my favorite things in the game. Okay, so, Flower Fields, our second level. This is a cool level. Each level has its own thing. Like, there are some things that are reused in later levels, but each level is unique in its own way. Uh, it's what- And! Here's this music! My favorite song in the game, the music that I used in the intro for this Let's Play, actually. Uh, this- I- I swear, I love this song. It's- it's my favorite song in the game. If I haven't already told you at this point, like, which I have, <laughs> unless you haven't been paying attention to me for the past five minutes, because why would you? Because honestly, sometimes I just ramble on when I'm talking. <laughs> okay, so, let's grab that last thing. Yeah, with, with these flowers, when you step on them, they will start producing ge uh, beads for you to collect. I almost said gems, they're not gems, they're beads. <laughs> uh, have any of you guys played uh, Yoshi's Woolly World, which is a spir the spiritual successor to this game, actually? It's the sort of half sequel to this game because uh, it's 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 the same yarn type thing, uh, but it's much different because it's Yoshi instead of Kirby. I, w I don't have a Wii U, so I haven't ever played it. I want you guys to tell me what you think of it because I really really want to play it. I want a Wii U really really badly, and I'm trying to I'm trying to save up to buy one. But yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, this thing right here. This is one big, big flower. <laughs> yeah, walking around this thing can get a bit tedious, but it's rewarding because of all the beads you get. Okay, now, let's go see what's in that chest up there. Alright, uh, there we go. We got the flower clock, which is a clock with flowers. Kind of self-explanatory, really. <laughs> Nothing really special about it, other than the fact that it's a clock made of flowers. <laughs> and up here, uh, you're g there's another one of these things. Whoa, what the heck? That actually kind of freaked me out a bit, by the way that it just spazzed out right there. Okay, oh, whoa, 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 get, get, go, go. whoa, that was close, it almost fell on me. Alright, uh, yeah. <laughs> I haven't played this game in a while. I, I played it a few months ago, but other than that, it's been a while since I played it. So, I don't... I apologize if I don't really remember a lot about the levels. 
I just know, I just, I've been, I played this game a lot, so I do know how everything works. It's just a lot of the earlier levels I don't really remember a lot about. Okay, so, in here, oh yeah, you can also use your whip in the water as well, <laughs> which is nice. Uh, very, very useful. Oh, also if you press 2, you'll go faster in the water, which is also nice. And it's raining. Aw, oh, you ruined my perfect day. Die, Waddle Dee, I'm gonna take out my rage on you. I think that the thing I'm gonna do throughout this entire Let's Play is say, Die, Waddle Dee. <laughs> because, you know, I, there's always that one thing in the Let's Play that, ever, that I say over and over again, and I really want to stop saying it. I remember in Half-Life 2 Episode 2, it was, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> uh yeah, I, I remember, like, I, I don't really know. I, I need to stop doing that, where I have that thing that I always say over and over again. I don't like doing it, but I just, I feel like I always say it without even wanting to. I always tell myself to stop, and then I always forget that I'm, that I keep saying it. Alright, so. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, grab that at the last second. Aw, oh, yeah. And we actually have all three stars, which is nice. We're at the last uh, level. We got level three. We got 100% on this level, I believe, or maybe we didn't. I haven't really been keeping track of the items that we've collected. And here's a new transformation. All right, what's this one? It is the space... It's, sorry, the UFO. I almost said the space... <laughs> I don't even remember what I was going to say there. Uh, anyways, this thing... If you press 2, you can suck up blocks and stuff like that. And as you can see, you can't you still can't suck up the thick blocks, because remember, they're indestructible. I love how I said they were indestructible last episode, but they're actually not. But also, as you can see, the, the antenna is actually electrified. <laughs> if you press 1, this happens! You blow stuff up. And then you get lots and lots of gems, which is noise. It's noise, I tell ya. It's really, really nice. <laughs> Alright, why don't I- You bounce off of a lot of things when using this thing. It's a little bit of a weird control. Okay, I believe after you've sucked up three things into your, uh, into your spaceship, then you will actually get the electrified power-up. So you can't use it without having sucked up three things in your spaceship. Uh, can you set these guys up? Okay, good. I was worried that- I was worried that you were able to, and I was just ever gonna try. But I guess you can't. This guys hurt you really badly if you touch them. Okay, let's murder the waddle -dees. <laughs> They were all just trying to run away, but they were like, No, let me go, please! Alright, let's use the electrified power-up right here, and we'll get some noise stuff! There we go. <laughs> I remember when I first discovered that you had to press 1 there, uh, and I was just like, Whoa, that is an overpowered attack. That is crazy. Alright, we have more than enough gems for this level, to be honest. I don't think- WHOA! Did not think that was gonna happen on- Oh god, he's gonna tear us apart, isn't he? Alright, let's go pick up all the stars, go pick them up, go pick them up- No, we lost a few, but still, we have all that we need. Now we zap that thing, and at the end, we'll turn back into Yarn Kirby. And whoa! We have way too many beads if it's gonna do that to us. Alright, well, we didn't get any extra beads at the end, but that's fine. That's all good. Do your little dance, Kirby. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute! I love it so much. But yeah, um... I think that's where we're gonna end the episode off here. Uh, I'm just gonna get through this part at the end. I believe I'll be able to 100% World 1, because honestly, World 1 isn't too hard. It's still just, like, uh, uh, gripping the ropes or whatever. <laughs> it's, it's all just, like, tutorials and stuff, and it's not too hard. But, yeah... I think I'll be able to 100% this world. Oh dear, what a pickle, what a pickle, what a definite pickle I am in. What is it? What pickle are you in? Prince Fluff, Lord Kirby, you're still here. Oh, thank goodness I ran into you. I am in the most dire of pickle straits. <laughs> Can I possibly ask for your help? Uh, thank you ever so much, Lord Kirby. Your generosity shall not go unnoticed. This guy reminds me a lot of, like, Jarvis. I don't really know why. Jarvis from uh, Avengers. Uh, you know, Jarvis the butler. In the movies, he's he's Iron Man's AI, but in the comics, he's the Avengers butler. You see, I can't seem to find any tenants who will move into my new building here. It's the market. What is one to do? I think spiffing the place up a bit would definitely attract some new tenants. All right. I'm so glad to hear that you agree. Now, take a look at this photo here. So, that's how we're supposed to make it. Could you do a favor and decorate the room so it resembles this picture? Let's do that. Wonderful. My, that was much easier than I expected. You chat certainly are helpful. 
Well, I'm sure you'll have find the furniture you need in areas you've already visited. Thankfully, we've already collected those items. That's the couch and the, uh, the flower, flower clock. The flower clock. <laughs> Tongue twister. Okay, change layout. Point it at the screen. Press OK. Uh, and so, yeah. Uh, here you're gonna design a room for this, for this guy. Uh, wait, that's the wrong thing. So. <laughs> uh, there's the flower clock. Uh, and then is there a... Where is it? Where? Oh, there it is! The fountain garden. There we go. <laughs> the flower... I almost said the fountain garden. I don't know what I was thinking there. Wonderful job, Lord Kirby. Now we must find someone who loves flowers. And here comes the floating music note with... It's not really technically a music note. I mean, it could be a whole note, maybe. I don't know. He could be a whole note with a dangling piece of string at the bottom. Hey, you got any rooms? Whoa! Flowers everywhere. I love this place. You did it, Lord Kirby. I can't tell you how grateful I am for this. He's, he was doing his little dance at the end there. Okay, so here we are. This is Zeke. He is our new neighbor. Zeke's hide and seek. We are not gonna play this yet. We're gonna play that later on, I believe. He's angry that we're leaving. <laughs> Did you see that at the end? He was angry that we were leaving. But yeah, we're gonna do some of his mini games later on because we're running low on time here. Well, not really. We can make this go as long as we want, but I want to make these videos between uh, 10 to 20 minutes, and I think we've gone over 20 minutes at this point. But still, that's that's good enough for me. Anyways, we have a new patch. We're gonna end the episode off with this patch, and it's the alarm clock patch. Wake that stupid thing up! That stupid thing that's under the ground. It's angry! Or is it yawning? I really can't tell. <laughs> Alright, so, here's our new level that we'll be tackling next episode, Rainbow Falls. Now, we are going to end the episode here. So, thank you so much for watching this episode of Kirby's Epic Yarn. Next time we'll head off into this level and we'll complete it and maybe even we'll probably get close enough to finish World 1 in the ne the next two episodes probably. But anyways, see you guys later. Bye.